There's no such thing as just running out for a gallon of milk these days, and it's not getting any better anytime soon. Our traffic woes continue. Extra heavy traffic is expected through La Follette, Jacksboro, and Caraville today, and for the next several days. It stems from the shutdown of I-75 southbound lanes in Campbell County. La Follette Police Chief Jimmy Jeffries and his department are doing all they can do to move the traffic on through as efficiently as possible. The chief offers some suggestions for locals who are trying to just get around. He says exercising patience along with allowing yourself extra travel time will help. Jeffries notes that spacing is critical and urges you to leave some space between you and the car in front of you as well as to keep an extra eye on the traffic. T. Dot's Mark Nagai adds that Campbell Countians are facing at least two more weekends including 11 days of heavy traffic from the detour. Nagai says the new target date for reopening I-75 South through Campbell County is Monday, May 21st. The Can Painted project is underway. The anti-litter theme generates support for Campbell County's war on litter. It also serves as a fundraiser. The art students from Campbell County High School and Jellicoe High School have painted their creative artwork on 20-gallon trash cans. The painted cans may be seen on our 1450WLAF.com website or on the Channel 12 green screen. You may make a bid to buy one of these cans and all proceeds will benefit the war on litter and the art classes. County Mayor William Baird tells us about the Can It Paint project. These are trash cans that uh, that the high school kids at Jellicoe and Campbell County Art Department have uh, taken, each class has taken 10 uh, trash cans, galvanized 20 gallon trash can. We're having a silent auction, online auction to uh, to try to raise money for our litter program as well as uh, raising some money for the art classes at uh, Jellicoe High School and Campbell County High School. And once you see these cans, you'll see that these kids spend a lot of time and they are really creative and really talented kids that, that did this. They're, they are phenomenal. The National Safe Boating Council is kicking off its national campaign promoting safe boating and life jacket safety on May 19th through May 25th. According to the latest statistics from the U.S. Coast Guard, Tennessee ranked 8th in the nation for boating fatalities, a number that can be prevented with increased awareness of life jacket safety. Approximately 88% of drowning victims were not wearing a life jacket. As the weather warms up, families and friends gather together to enjoy the outdoors and spend time on water. Accidents happen too fast to reach for stowed life jackets, but new styles are comfortable, lightweight, and perfect for any boating activity. The National Safe Boating Council reminds you don't just carry a life jacket, wear it. A town hall meeting is set for Tuesday at the courthouse. County Commissioners Thomas Hatmaker and Scott Stanfield are hosting the event. The main topic of conversation is the scrapyard on Toastring Road. Hatmaker tells WLAF and Channel 12 that the objective is to come to some sort of middle ground between the scrapyard owner, Chuck Samples, and residents. Samples plans to which begins at 6 o'clock at the meeting. Country music singer Dolly Parton's 27th homecoming parade is tonight in Pigeon Forge. The popular musician will be riding on a float that is equipped with sound 
that will allow her to speak to the people in the crowd. The parade will also feature antique vehicles, floats from the various theaters and attractions, and much more. The parade will occupy northbound lanes of the busy Main Street, the Parkway, in the Smoky Mountain Resort Town. Well, school is almost over, and we probably are thinking of vacations. Here's a couple of tips that may help when traveling that you may want to rent a car. Sometimes renting a car instead of using your own vehicle is cheaper than the extra wear and tear on your car. Eat lunch in your room. Take a break from the crowds and you may be surprised how good a sandwich tasted away from home. And last, spend a day away from local attractions. Most areas have free play areas for the children. And finally this evening, tomorrow is the Postal Service's annual food drive. Last year, thanks to your generous donations, a little more than two and a half tons of food was collected. The U.S. Postal Service Stamp Out Hunger Food Drive is Saturday, and this year's goal is three tons. Your letter carrier will gladly pick up non-perishable food items at your mailbox, or you may drop off your items at your post office. And that's our news for this Friday. Stay tuned for the press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. And taking a look now at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, there is only one name on our list today. Only one person booked into the jail in the past 24 hours. That was 50-year-old Erlene Burge Britton of Clinton entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. And I'm sure we'll have a big docket for you Monday, so be sure to join us in. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, Hey, good Friday evening, everybody, and welcome into your birthdays and anniversaries brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli, and we here at WLAF. Fridays are a little bit different here on the birthdays and anniversaries because we give away two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli, some uh, lucky couple people. But uh, first, let's see who's celebrating a birthday and anniversary for today. Nancy Fair is starting off our list today, along with Sue Pierce, Jack Mixell celebrating a birthday, uh, Joyce Ayers celebrating 60 years old. Marie Bear turned 8 years old today. Billy Smithers, 72. Harold Chin, celebrating a birthday. Uh, Luis Baird, also celebrating a birthday. Gavin Sexton, se uh, 10 years old today. And Thelma Crumley turned 90 years young today. I want to wish all of you a very happy birthday. Now, our winner for the birthday side is Bonnie McCullough, who celebrated a birthday here on Wednesday. I want to congratulate Miss Bonnie there. Uh, she gets two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli for anniversaries. Danny and Renee Bailey celebrating 40 years, or four years, I'm sorry, today. I want to congratulate that couple. Now, that winner for the uh, anniversary side is Justin and Margaret McCormick celebrating an anniversary back on Monday. They celebrated seven years together. I want to congratulate you. We're going to be having another drawing this upcoming Friday next week. And if your birthday or anniversary or sometime next week, you can go ahead and get a start on... Uh, Getting those in here to me at 562-1450, 566-1450, or 562-3557, or email WLAF at bellsouth.net, or you can fax in your information to 562-5764, and uh, we'll be sure to get your names on there and qualify you for, uh, for the next drawing. And that does it for our birthdays and anniversaries for this Friday. Hope you all have a good night. I'll see you back here next week, and stay tuned. Your news continues.